Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to talk about the GPU and CPU overclocking softwares. So we're going to discuss uh, first uh, the CPU overclocking softwares and then we're going to go to the GPU overclocking softwares. We're only going to discuss one or two of them and I will share which one I've been using. Uh, now before we start, uh, some of you already know what overclocking is, some of you may not know what overclocking is. So what I will tell, uh, what basics of the overclockings are that you are tuning up your CPU or graphic card's performance to a better efficiency. So what you're doing is you're taking, you're trying to take maximum amount of performance by reducing the power consumption. So that's what it is basically. And then in order to do that, in order to achieve this, you are going to have to tune uh, your graphics memory clock or core clocks, what we call them. Now, in order to understand them properly, just take some help from the Google because this video is going to be pretty short and I my technical expertise are limited on, limited on those. Uh, but what I'm going to show you is the hand to hand experience I had using one of these overclocking softwares so let's get started and we're going to take some help from a website again like a regular video so if you go over here this is make use off.com that's the website and this is the article now we're going to take a look at uh some cpu overclocking software for the first part of the video no, uh, I have not used any one of these uh, softwares to overclock my CPU because I have never done overclocking on my CPU because I never had a need to do it. Now, in case you need to do it, uh, just to push it for video rendering and any sort of graphic intensive work on any sort of uh, processor intensive work, what I meant to say, yes, you can go ahead and do it but this is going to be entirely at your risk most of the manufacturer and myself i don't recommend doing it but yes i mean if you want to play around you have a little bit of a room to take risk yes go ahead and do it now um what you can do is this is the first uh, overclocking software but this is only for the intel cpus now if you have intel i5 i7 i9 this is the software you're going to use they have developed it properly uh, as much as I read through the article uh, this is the best um, overclocking software for the Intel CPUs now <clears throat> in case of a bad overclock your computer may freeze or eventually it will, it will shut down right um, in order to fix this you just have to restart your window and just reset your overclocking overclock settings to the normal or just reset it to normal that's it in case it freezes <clears throat> second thing is going to be amd processor not amd processors yes amd ryzen math overclocking softwares for the amd softwares now they do claim that it is better uh as compared to intel's uh, cpu overclocking software now looking at these two I mean whichever the processor you have it's a clear-cut choice go with that software nothing more nothing less um, and features are here free to use work with Intel CPUs yes user-friendly useful for beginners and pros alike right and then if you go with this guy free to use support AMD CPUs can also use to overclock RAM so yes there is an advantage there but whichever the software you have use it coming to the number third cpu tweaker i really don't prefer it because of this old classic windows you just make your computer look old so i would not go into the details of that moving on to the second part of the video which is about the best gpu overclocking software the number one the first we have on the list is msi afterburner so this is the one i'm going to discuss in detail because i have used it for like more than two years now so yes we will go over this and then second is going to be evga precision x so yes this came into the market like after msi afterburner uh, it is the top tier uh, 
overclocking software for the GPU as well. But now we're gonna go through the first guy first, MSI Afterburn. Now this gives you a lot of flexibility. I'm gonna open up mine, I've installed it, here you go. So this is it. <clears throat> As you can see, there are a couple of options here. So for the beginners, uh, do watch some, uh, do take a look on the internet. Uh, if you're overclocking, consider a, as an example, consider you're overclocking a 1660 Super. So just uh, whatever you're tuning it for, there is a setting already available on the internet. Consider you're tuning it for a game. Go, go to Google, just search the settings for the game, Put, the, put those numbers in and that's it the basically you're gonna have to actually look for just two numbers two things core clock and memory clock so core clock usually goes in the negatives and memory clock we usually push in the positive side and then power limit it's entirely up to you right now it's 100 percent but uh, our system do adjust itself right if it needs more it can take more but if you want to tune it to uh, maximum efficiency then you can reduce it right and most of the miners actually do it uh, they reduce the power limit to uh, a level of like 60 to 70 percent to just save the power and then yeah their 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 mining rigs are mining at all the times and they overclock it once and then they save that setting so I will show you how to save the settings but as far as the core clock and memory clock values are concerned that you're gonna have to figure out yourself as an example my card is 3070 ti right so what i used to do is my overclock details were like minus 50 for the core, core clock and then somewhere around 1200 for the memory clock and as far as the power was concerned it depends you're gonna have to figure out a sweet spot where your efficiency and performance are the best that is something you're gonna have to figure out and that's it now let's explore the menus here this guy is the online software homepage. going over here is going to give you some information about the uh, this overclocking software settings let's explore them a little nothing you need to change over here unless you want to just start with the windows or start minimized All right those are the settings you can choose and you can choose the graphics cards over here as well moving on to the fan nothing uh monitor nothing on screen display yes that is something you can adjust benchmarks are there and then the only thing i use over here is the interface what you can do over here is you can choose your language you can uh, choose the temperature format time format and then you can choose whichever the i mean skin you want right there are a lot of new skins old skins whichever you like use it I mean choose it and then yes skin transparency and then you can scale the screen up to like look at that 200% I don't do it I only keep it up to 100 100% here that's it and that's all about the settings this is the graphical representation of all the parameters so you can see it now uh, coming back to this side of this the software uh, I told you about the values this is the live GPU clock memory clock and then voltage temperature all three you can measure here this is uh, your graphics card if you have another graphics card installed there will be an arrow over here which you, on which you can click and select the GPU you want to overclock right and then if you want to keep uh, the settings for all of them the same so in that case you're gonna have to uh, click on a button I think it's it's by default but if you want to keep separate settings then you're gonna have to choose that 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 uh, I'll show you how that actually looks I can't I can't show you guys I'm gonna draw it for you possibly that looks like this actually so each GPU is going to have something like this. So if the shapes are like this, right, it means all the GPUs are running on the same clock speed or the same clock settings, right? And in case, in case, I mean, 
it's not there or in case I mean you change it in that case what's gonna happen is consider your first GPU that's gonna have a profile like this I'll show you uh, sorry this this I'm just making stuff up and then sorry that's GPU number one and the GPU number two on the other hand is gonna be like this it's gonna be the both of them are gonna be opposite direction right so you're gonna have in, in, in case you want all of these both of these to run at the same settings you're gonna have to click on this in MSI Afterburner, click on it and it's going to change itself and all of them are going to run on the same settings. If you want to run them differently, then you're going to have to again click on the GPU, whichever the one you want to run differently, click on that, choose the different settings for that and save it. That's it. And then when you restart your PC, you're going to have to um, select the overclock for each one of them diff I mean, uh, individually if you have uh, overclocked them individually. If you have overclocked all of the same settings, then yes, just click on it on one and then you're good to go. That's it. I hope this might have explained it. And now coming back to this. So here you choose your GPU and your select your GPU and select the settings for all of them together or individually. Second thing, how to save it. Now consider I put a value over here as minus 50 enter and over here I put like minus what 600 oh sorry plus 600 plus it right and then power consumption I put as like 80% so the temperature limit is gonna adjust itself automatically if you want to manually adjust it you're gonna have to break this and then you can manually adjust it right otherwise it's gonna get adjusted automatically according to the power uh, the maximum temperature limit all right now uh, once you have the values in and everything is adjusted you're gonna have to click on this first so that your computer can set it and then second thing is gonna be unlock it and then you're gonna have to click on save then you're gonna have to click on number one two three whichever you want to save it on so number one option then I'm gonna lock it and that's it so if you reset it that's how it is going to be this is the reset button now i'm going to click on one as you can see the settings have been saved i'm going to click on this to set it and that's it it's set there you go right in case you want to remove this what you're going to do you're going to unlock it reset it save it one and lock it that's it now I hope you remember the steps I'm gonna show you one more time put the value in put the values in and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this first right and then second thing is click on save and then click on the number and lock it that's it it's saved so step number one is to put the value step number two is gonna be to unlock it and then step number three is click on it. And step number four is choose the number where you want to save it and then lock it. That's it. That's as simple as it is. Now, uh, important tip of the video. In case this is this this button here, this is something I came to know after like three, four months since I started doing it. So over here, you can allow the prioritization of temperature over the power. Now, if you see this Thunderbolt kind of sign, this means the power is prioritized. So your system is gonna give more power, not gonna care about the temperature. If you want a temperature sensitive profile, then you can click on this. As you can see, the icon has changed to a thermometer. So in this case, click on it to set it. And then your system is not gonna let uh, the temperature value exceed at any cost the value you consider you put 70 here and the 70 that's the maximum temperature it's gonna go to um, it's gonna lock it it's gonna actually cap it there consider you put it to 60 degrees over here so yes it's gonna lock it to 60s that's the cap it's not gonna go more than that now in order to save it it's the same thing what you're gonna do before 
uh, if you need a temperature sensitive profile change it to this first then you put the values in unlock it click on save press one and lock it that's it that's the simple process um i'll give you an example here just to make things very clear uh, i choose minus 60 as a core clock memory clock i choose as like 900 in plus and then power i choose around like 75 right and then i already selected the temperature sensitive profile and then i'm gonna what you're gonna do is it's already unlocked right so you're gonna unlock it first then you're gonna click on save click on one there we go set it oops something wrong happened so what i didn't do i didn't set it first so again sorry about that what you're gonna do put the values in over here i put what did i put 900 dollars sorry 900 uh and then here you click here on this as well and then temperature power limit i consider 75 that's it so all set you're gonna have to select it first that's the first step select it unlock it click on it click on save then choose the number where you want to save it consider i chose three then i'm gonna lock it at three locked now reset it click on three all the settings are there right and in case you want a power prioritized profile yeah you can make that as well again put the numbers in it's 50 here you can put like thousand here you can do minus 50 and here you can do like 70 right and then power prioritize thing and just keep it that way and then click on it set it first step second step is to unlock it and then save it and choose the number and then lock it that's it so as you can see i'm going to reset it number three is this profile with the temperature sensitive um, profile here is the power uh, sensitive profile so this is it that's all there is uh, that's all about this software what i reset everything here we go now we're gonna go back to the website now main features of this software are free to use does not require a graphics card manufactured by msi yes it can overclock any gpu that's the best part of it if you have amd gpu yes now going to the number two evga prison precision x now not prison x it's precision x uh here it's pretty precise i like the way i have developed the software this is pretty cool looks like it's, it's literally nice better than even uh, msi but there is a problem here maybe they will resolve it in the future but for now no they can only overclock nvidia's gpus if you have any amd gpus they won't be able to overclock it that's the bigger downsides of using this software now if you this is something universal kind of thing you can use it for any graphics card now if you have an nvidia gpu yes go ahead download it this looks pretty cool same thing same features core clock uh right uh, memory clock core clock and then yeah temperature power you can manually choose everything and set it up that's entirely up to you but what else as a feature highlights they have put in here nvidia's gpus from other manufacturers are compatible yeah of course scan mode to find optimal voltage and frequency curve so this is uh, something cool they have now you can do this uh, click on the scan mode and it's you're gonna find the optimal voltage and frequency curve for your graphics card but uh, you can tune that you can find the settings uh, online for sure just put the numbers in and save it that's it now the use of it is basically i've seen miners using it most uh, intensive gamers they do use it so it's entirely up to you but yes it is at your own risk just uh what do you call it an advisory it's at your own risk if you want to play around go for it if you have some room for risk if you don't want to risk anything at all don't try it i would say just keep it the way it is running because yes if you put the wrong numbers in your computer is gonna freeze and then you're gonna have to restart it worst case scenario 
maybe your computer may not work but yes uh, it's entirely up to you your freedom and your decision so that's all about the video that's all i wanted to share and i hope uh, i have cleared up some things in case i was not able to just let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about that msi afterburner and anything i have explained if it is it wasn't clear enough let me know so that's all about this video i'll see you guys in the next one thank you